Hey fan fans, it's your boy John, aka Big Red, back today with another video. Alright, let's jump straight into it. Uh, my uh, Miami came out this morning with some news. Uh, they ended up trading uh, uh, Raekwon McMillan to the Raiders. Uh, we ended up getting a fourth for next year draft, uh, a fourth round pick for next year draft. They ended up getting uh, uh, Raekwon McMillan, and they ended up getting the fifth. Now, that... Uh, let's go back into that 2017 draft. We ended up drafting him, uh, I want to say, out of the second round from out of Ohio State. You know, coming, uh, you know, getting drafted and coming into the organization, everybody had high hopes for him. Um, you know, at, at that point, we had Adam Gates as our head coach. Uh, that preseason, I, wanna say, I can't, I don't know, was it the first preseason game or the second? I want to say it was the first, probably. First preseason game. Uh, Adam Gates put him on the kickoff return, um, which to me was a stupid move. But he puts him out there on the kickoff return. He ended up getting hurt. Um, had to sit out that whole 2017, uh, 2017 season. Came, he come back that following year, uh, play uh, okay. Uh, with that being his, uh, you know, his rookie see his rookie year, you can sort of say. Uh, he had, uh, 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 I'm going to say what? 69 tackles with two forced fumbles, uh, career whole career uh, stats, uh, 104 tackles with two forced fumbles. So um, pretty much he you know he's one dimensional guy, um, uh, a run stopper, a run stopper. Uh, he couldn't cover that well. Um, then last year you know going into uh, free agency. We ended up adding, you know, a lot of pieces in that linebacker room with uh, Calvin Noy, uh, Roberts, and Hill as well. And uh, those guys, you know, get in training camp and they're actually, you know, looking good. Um, like I said, with Raekwon, uh, you know, one-dimensional, uh, one-dimensional guy. And these guys, you know, can do both. They can cover and they can also stop the run. So pretty much that was just, you know, he was just pretty much the odd man out. Um, so I'm guessing, you know, they both made this, you know, to come to this decision to, you know, trade both parties was probably, you know, okay with it. Uh, I feel like, you know, that can be a, a good thing for Rick One. Going to, you know, a, a new team. And like I said, he's not a, a sucky, you know, a linebacker. Uh, he's pretty physical. You know, he can stop the, uh, the run. Uh, him going to a new team can probably help out his career, uh, you know, push him forward uh, and help out his uh, uh, his career and develop his game even more. Um, so, it, you know, it's not a bad thing, you know, to, uh, you know, for the two parties and the separation. But uh, Chris uh, Chris Greer, general manager, uh, you know, uh, yesterday I did a video on the Caden Balaj with him getting, you know, something for pretty much nothing. Um, the guy is is like a mad scientist right now. You know, he's just working in the lab and you know trying to figure out how to make this team better. And I tap my uh, you know I take my hat off to him. Like he is really you know uh, doing his thing. But like I said, you know go, to go into you know with these uh, you know hearing the stories in training camp and how all these other guys are really you know uh, you know balling out and uh, looking good. So it, you know it, it was only a matter of time. Also, uh, I had did a, 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 a I did a question on Twitter where I I want to say I had like the top five you guys top five uh, players that was on the bubble for this year. Um, I ended up also also posting a uh, great one DeVore in it as well, and you know. Uh, Appreciate the uh, great one, DeVore. He actually came through and uh, also commented, and he had uh, McMillan on uh, on his list as well as one of his guys. And at the time, I'm like, McMillan, like really, McMillan? Like, uh, I can see it, but uh, he might, you know, he you know he might, uh, you know, uh, bounce back. But you know, like I said, I took my head out to him. I uh, appreciate him for you know uh, also commenting, and he was actually right about that. Uh, you know, a couple more guys had a couple more players like uh, uh, Ford and, you know, Grant and a couple more players like that. But uh, he actually was right about that. Um, he's a, uh, 
he's a great guy, a great guy, and uh, he also make real good videos as well. Him and Doug, uh, shout out to you guys. Um, YouTube is like pretty much the, the main reason you, in uh, that I actually you know decided to do videos. But um, that's pretty much all the news that you know broke out uh, this morning. And uh, oh, to scrimmage um, with uh, with uh, Fence my mother passing. Also today, um, my heart go out to the family, and uh, you know I hope you guys you know just keep your heads up. Um, going into the the scrimmage, two quarterbacks. Uh, we had Tula and we had Rosen actually battling out today in the scrimmage. Both of the quarterbacks end up doing not good today, but it's practice, and that's what practice is for. You make your mistakes. Tomorrow, next day, you come back in and fix it. You look at the film, fix it. You know, uh, both of these guys are trying to learn a new uh, offense. So, um, like I said, that's what practice for. You know, you come in and you make your mistakes and you fix it the next day. As long as you, you know, you you improving and you you know you're looking better each day. Um, I want to say Rosen threw well. He had but three interceptions and Tula had one. Tula had one. But like I said, it's practice. Nothing to worry about. It's practice. Uh, I want to say we like a what a week away from the regular season. Um, hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys decided. Uh, you know, football is back. Hopefully, um, as you know, spank, spank, spank the Patriots. Get ready to spank the Patriots <laughs> at their home. Uh, first first game of the season. Whoever the starter is going to be. But uh, yeah, um, we get that. We get that. We get that trade going on this morning. We get a fourth. And I want to say we have, what, two firsts? I want to say two seconds, a third, and two fourth going into uh, next year's draft. So that's just more ammo loading up for next year's draft. And you guys all know uh, what we did in this uh, past draft with all the picks we had. I want to say we had, like, what, 14, something like that. But um, like I said, Adam Greer. Took my hat off to that guy. He's a mad scientist right now. But um, yeah, that's like I said, that's the, the news. He was one dimensional, and hopefully he can, uh, you know, his his career, his can, he can develop his game and uh, you know, you know, be a, a top notch linebacker in this in this league for years to come. But um, so he's out. Uh, we uh. Get to you know see uh, this uh, this competition between the the, the, the linebackers, which uh, Roberts and Hill actually you know battled it out. But um, I'm very excited. Can't wait to see the season uh, starts. And uh, also, you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you like the content, hit that like button. Uh, comment also as well. Uh, I like to hear you guys' opinions on you know. What you guys think and uh, how I can get better as well. How this channel can get better. Um, and like I said, shout out to all the, uh, you know, great one on the board. Like Doug, appreciate you guys for helping me out as well. And uh, it's your boy John, a.k.a. Big Red. And I'm out.